Hi, everybody. Welcome, welcome, welcome to story time. Oh, I just am so happy to just come wherever you are tonight and be able to read to you such a wonderful story. But wasn't the last three weeks good? And I'm just wondering, have you kept being thankful, have you been still doing your homework? I know that we don't like homework. When I when I went to school, I just didn't like homework. I didn't like homework at all. But when I got older, I realized that homework is so important to my brain. Now, I would sit and listen to the teacher and then the teacher would give me what she just taught me and I was able to do it. But I found that if I didn't keep practicing it, that I would forget what the teacher told me to do. So homework is really important because it makes sure that it writes it on my brain. So if you could see what was happening, it would be like a pencil in your head, like writing down four plus four is eight. Four plus four is eight. Brain, don't forget that four plus four is eight. And so now I learned four plus four is eight in probably second grade. Okay. And now I'm 60. And I still can remember four plus four is eight. But if my teacher only told me that once and I only did it once, I would forget it. But homework makes us remember it. And even now, if I make like a special dish and I follow a recipe to do it, if I don't keep doing that recipe, I will forget what I did and I have to keep going back if I'm going to make it again to find the recipe. But the ones I make all the time, yes, because I practice, because I do homework, those, I don't need to get the recipe book out anymore. I know it calls for a cup of flour. It calls for a cup of sugar. It calls for three tablespoons of baking soda. You following me? So homework is important. So be happy that you're doing it, okay? Do that homework. But one of the things that I really, really want to remind you of, because there's a lot of ugliness out there right now and a lot of people that are angry. So be kind and always remember to be thankful. And your teachers, like, they're not used to teaching this way at all. So you be sure to say, thank you. Thank you for teaching me today. And, you know, like a lot of you are able to see your teachers online right now. And some of you see them online. And then you get to go to school a couple of days. It would be really, really nice if you made them like a pretty picture or you made them a card and you just said, thank you for teaching me. Because isn't it nice when someone thanks you for doing something kind? Yeah, so don't, don't forget to be thankful. Be thankful to your parents, to your brothers and sisters. Be, be kind, okay? And God, he just loves it when you're kind to him. So don't forget to thank him too. Well, we're going to get into our story today. And today... I chose for you one of my favorite, favorite books. And I looked and I've had this book since 1989. That's when Jerry and I got married in 1989. So this book is over 30 years old. Wow, how amazing is that? And I'm gonna encourage you to take really good care of your books because look at how good my book is. It's still in good shape because I didn't write in it and I made sure I kept it on a nice shelf standing up. I took really good care of it. 
Did you read what my story is before I could tell you? <laughs> because I lifted it up before I told you. Yep, we're going to read a story about Amelia Bedelia today and the surprise shower. This is a lot of fun. Look at Amelia Bedelia and the surprise shower. You ready to go? Do you have your blanket? Yeah, because it's getting cold, isn't it? Wow, it's really nice during the day, but at night I've had to put my sweater on to go out. And I'm like, bruh, 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 bruh. oh my goodness, it's been chilly, hasn't it? Well, let's get started tonight because you got a big day ahead of you tomorrow. It's hump day tomorrow. It's Wednesday. You're halfway through your school week. Yay! So we got to get you ready for hump day. So here we go. You ready? All right. Let's start our story. There was a knock on the back door. Coming, coming, called Amelia Bedelia, and she opened the door. There's the door and there's the dog sitting at the door. Do you have a dog? I bet he runs to the door when someone comes, doesn't he? Yeah. Oh, it's you, Cousin Al Culo, she said. Do come in. Isn't that a funny name? Al Culo. <laughs> Al Culo. <laughs> I just think that's a funny name. Mrs. Rogers asked me to help. Out today, said El Culo. Is she having a party or something? Every Tuesday, said Amelia Bedelia. Some ladies come and they all get together. They just sew and talk all day long. But today, Miss Elma is in for a real surprise. So there is Cousin El Culo at the door. And there they are talking. Oh, Amelia Bedelia, look at her happy face. Oh, she's just, Amelia's always happy, isn't she? She's just a happy little lady. Those other ladies are giving Miss Elma a shower. A shower, said El Culo. A surprise shower, said Amelia Bedelia. Shh. Don't talk too loud. Now, why would they do that to her? Asked El Colo. Miss Elma is so nice. I don't know, said Amelia Bedelia. She is about to get married. They should do something nice for her. She could give herself her own shower. Your folks do have some funny ways, said El Culo. There they are talking. <laughs> I think there's going to be some trouble. <laughs> Say, are you cooking something? Oh, 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 my cupcakes, said Amelia Bedelia. And she ran as fast as she could to the oven. Oh, they were smelling so good. And she opened up the oven door. Oh, thank goodness, she said. They're just right. They're perfect. But they need to cool a bit. Then I'm going to ice them. Mr. Rogers came in. Good morning, Amelia Bedelia. Good morning, Al Kulu. My, what a nice lot of Fish, said Amelia Bedelia. There she is running to check her cupcakes. And whoa, look at all those fish. Let's count them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Wow, he caught a lot of fish, didn't he? Nine fish. Do you like to eat fish? I do, certain kinds, some, some fish I don't, I don't like at all. And then there's other fish, whoa, I just love it. They should taste good, said Mr. Rogers. Please, Amelia, scale them and ice them for me. There he is, handing the fish to Amelia Bedelia. 
All right, said Amelia Bedelia. Say, Mr. Rogers, did you ever hear of giving somebody a surprise shower? Oh, yes, said Mr. Rogers. It is like a surprise party. And they shower the person with gifts. That is why they call it a shower. Mr. Rogers looked at his watch. Oh, oh my goodness, I have to go to town, he said. And Mr. Rogers left the kitchen. There he goes, he's on his way to town. I love Mr. Rogers, he's just such a nice man. By the way, Amelia Bedelia said Akulu, Mr. Rogers told me to prune the hedge. Could you, could you show me how that's done? I would be glad to. She went to the cupboard. She took out a box of prunes. There they are. She's got her box of prunes. Amelia Bedillion and El Culo went to the hedge. Now, said Amelia Bedillion, you take a prune, then stick it on like this. Is that all there is to it? asked El Culo. Prune it well, said Amelia Bedelia. Look at her. Can you see? Look at, see her prune? And she's telling him to just stick it on the bush. Do you think that's the right thing to do? I don't know. I just don't know. Mrs. Rogers likes things done right. Amelia Bedelia went into the kitchen. Oh, I plum forgot my cupcakes, she said. And I must make the chocolate icing. Oh, look at that. Oh, baby, there she is. Oh, do you like chocolate frosting on your cupcakes? I like chocolate on everything. <laughs> Amelia Bedelia put some of this and a little of that in a big pot. She stirred and she stirred and she stirred and she stirred. And then she tasted the icing. Oh, she was so excited. It was just right. Oh, it tasted so good. And she began to ice her cupcakes. The fish, she said. Mr. Rogers said to scale them and ice them. Amelia Bedelia got the scales. She piled the fish on them. There, she said. You just scale yourselves while I ice the cakes. Look at, she's, she's weighing them on the scales. <laughs> now you guys, when you weigh yourself, you stand on a scale and it tells you how much you weigh. Well, this is another way to weigh things. And if you look, when you put the fish all over here, this side of the scale will go way up in the air and the fish will go down and it will tell you how much they weigh. It's a different type of scale than you use. And Amelia Bedelia iced her cakes. Those do look nice, she said. And thank goodness I've got enough icing left to ice the fish too. <laughs> Amelia Bedelia picked up a fish by its tail. I hope you have scaled long enough, she said. <laughs> Look at her. <laughs> I told you Amelia Bedelia makes me laugh. <laughs> she iced one side of the fish. Then she iced the other side of the fish. Amelia Bedelia worked until the last fish was iced. That takes care of you, she said. Oh, look what she's doing. 
Now, I said I like chocolate on just about everything, but I don't think, I don't think I would like frosting on raw fish. How about you? I don't even think I'd like frosting on cooked fish. <laughs> Amelia Bedelia put the iced fish and the iced cakes in the cupboard. And Mr. Rogers came into the kitchen. Look at, <laughs> she's got cupcakes frosted with chocolate icing and she iced the fish. <laughs> Do you think Mr. Rogers seen them? I don't think so. It, she got them in the cupboard before Mrs. Rogers showed up. Amelia Bedelia. Use the tablecloth for the table, she said. Do run over it first with an iron. We need some cut flowers, said Mrs. Rogers. She went out the back door. Amelia Bedelia unfolded the tablecloth. She put it on the floor. Then Amelia Bedelia got the iron, and she ran all over that tablecloth. <laughs> Here's Mrs. Rogers bringing the tablecloth. And look at Amelia Bedelia. <laughs> she has the iron and she's running it all over. Look at her footprints. Oh, do you think that's what Mrs. Rogers meant? I don't think so. <laughs> Amelia Bedelia put the tablecloth on the table. Alculo came over to Amelia Bedelia. That takes care of that, he said. I even had some prunes left over. So I pruned the other bushes too. That does look nice, she said. Mrs. Rogers will be mighty pleased. Amelia Bedelia and Akula met Mrs. Rogers at the back door. Mrs. Rogers came in with a bunch of flowers. She put them on the kitchen table. Here she is with all the flowers. Oh, it's going to be a big party, isn't it? Amelia Bedelia, she said, use the large silver bowl for the cut flowers. All right, said Amelia Bedelia. Mrs. Rogers left the kitchen. She came right back with a basket of gifts. These are for Miss Elma's shower, she said. We will start sewing as we always do. Then when all the ladies are here, we will say, surprise, surprise. Then comes the shower. Can you and Alculo take care of everything? Oh, yes, said Amelia Bedelia. We will see to everything. Don't you worry about nothing. Look at all the gifts for Miss Elma. These flowers are so pretty, said Amelia Bedelia. It's, it's just a shame to cut them. But... She said, cut flowers, said Alculo. So let me help you. So Amelia Bedelia and Alculo fixed a bowl of cut flowers. There they are thinking about it. And look what they did. Oh, no. Do you think that's what Mrs. Rogers meant? We do have some figuring out to do, she said. I thought those ladies were supposed to be given this shower. And here we are given it. If we had known, said Alculo, we could have fixed up something fancy. It's too late for that now, said Amelia Bedelia. The two of them went outside. Amelia Bedelia saw the garden hose. Think that will do, asked Alculo. Uh-oh. Something is about to happen. Well, it's not really a shower, said Amelia Bedelia. 
but it's the next best thing. I will give her the gifts and you can shower her. The gifts will get wet, said El Culo. They are shower gifts, said Amelia Bedelia. What if they do get wet? We will get wet too. Well, said El Culo, we can put on something else. What a good idea, said Amelia Bedelia. Hide those gifts first, said El Colo. Amelia Bedelia hid the basket of gifts under some bushes. It is time to get ready, she said. Look at her. She's hiding all of Miss Elma's gifts in a bush. <laughs> oh, Amelia Bedelia is so silly. A little while later, Amelia Bedelia heard a car stop. Here come the ladies, she called to Mrs. Rogers. Mrs. Rogers hurried out to meet them. Mrs. Ralph came first. And with her came her four children. Look, they shouted, prunes are on the hedge. The children went racing past. There's the first guest that has arrived. And there's her four children. And look at, can you see all the prunes on the bushes? <laughs> How funny is that? More and more ladies came. They began to sew. But Miss Elma did not come. Where is Miss Elma? Everybody asked. But nobody knew where she was. Mrs. Rogers looked at the table. Footprints, said Mrs. Rogers. Amelia Bedelia, what did you do to that tablecloth? I, I ran over it with an iron, said Amelia Bedelia. Should, should I have taken my shoes off first? See them all sewing? And yep, look at that tablecloth and look at Mrs. Rogers' face. Oh, she doesn't look very happy, does she? And Amelia Bedelia says, oh, should I have taken my shoes off first? <laughs> oh, never mind, said Mrs. Rogers. Amelia Bedelia, where are the cut flowers, she asked. Oh, my, oh, my, I said Amelia Bedelia. I forgot them. I'm so sorry. And Amelia Bedelia ran as fast as she could to get the flowers. Mrs. Rogers looked at the bowl. Amelia Bedelia, she cried. What did you do to those flowers? I, I cut them, said Amelia Bedelia. You said to fix a bowl of cut flowers. <laughs> Look at Mrs. Rogers. She just doesn't know what to do. And look at Amelia. She's just so happy to please Mrs. Rogers. Just then, thank goodness, Miss Elma drove up. Here she is, here she is, here she is, said the ladies. Oh, I'm so sorry to be late, said Miss Elma, but I have such a headache. I am so sorry, said Mrs. Rogers. You just sit down right here. Mrs. Rogers turned to Amelia Bedelia. Are you ready for the shower, she asked. We will need a minute or two, said Amelia Bedelia, but otherwise we're ready, she called Al Culo. They went to the back of the house. There's all the ladies. There's Mrs. Rogers talking to Miss Elma, telling her to sit down in the chair. And there stood Amelia Bedelia and Al Culo in bathing suits. All right, called Amelia Bedelia. We are ready. <laughs> Look at 
them. <laughs> They're already in their bathing suits. <laughs> Miss Elma's in for a big surprise. Then all the ladies shouted, shout it with me, surprise, surprise, surprise. See them all yelling surprise to her. <laughs> Isn't it fun when you have a party and you didn't know about it and they all yell surprise? Surprise, shouted Amelia Bedelia. She ran out with the gifts, dumped them on Miss Elma's lap. Here are the gifts, she said. Alculo came right behind her with the hose. And here is the shower, he shouted. <laughs> Look at him. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Look at her. <laughs> She's being showered. <laughs> oh, goodness. A shower, a shower, screamed Mrs. Rouse's four children, and they jumped into the shower with Miss Elma. Look at them all. <laughs> they're all jumping into the shower. Oh, they're having a blast. All the ladies screamed too, and they jumped out of the shower. Miss Elma leaped up. Her gifts flew all over the place. How dare you? How dare you? She shouted. Miss Elma was angry. She was not just angry. She was very angry. Amelia Badelia Alcolo shouted Mrs. Rogers. Turn off that water this minute. Uh-oh. Look at, oh, they are upset. And look at Amelia Badelia and Cousin Alcolo. Um, something ain't right about this shower at all. Amelia Bedelia and El Kulu turned off the water. Did you see how mad Miss Elma was? asked El Kulu. I don't, I don't think she liked our shower, said Amelia Bedelia. Maybe some hot tea will help her. Amelia Bedelia and El Kulu went into the kitchen. I'll take the tea things, said Amelia Bedelia. You bring the cupcakes. Here is the tea, said Amelia Bedelia. Thank goodness for that, said Mrs. Rogers. Hmm, that chocolate looks good, said Mrs. Ralph. Help yourself said Mrs. Rogers. Here she comes. What else is on that plate besides cupcakes? <laughs> the iced and scaled fish is on there, isn't it? Mrs. Ralph helped herself to the biggest piece. She took her fork Mrs. Ralph tried to cut it, but it would not cut. And Mrs. Ralph wanted that chocolate. Here she is. She's trying to cut it, but it won't cut. So she picked it up and bit it. <laughs> She screamed, fish, raw fish. Mrs. Ralph was angry. She was not just angry. She was very angry. Ah! Raw fish. 
Mrs. Rogers came out just then, he heard what Mrs. Rogers said. Fish, he shouted. Amelia Bedelia, what did you do to my fish? Now even Mr. Rogers is upset with Amelia Bedelia. Um, 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 iced them, said Amelia Bedelia. Mr. Rogers now was very angry. Look at poor Amelia Bedelia. She doesn't know what to think now. She just tried to please them. Suddenly, Miss Elma started laughing. <laughs> Everybody looked at her. She jumped out of her chair and she threw her arms around Amelia Bedelia. Wow, this is different, huh? Everybody was just mad at her and now Miss Elma is just laughing and giving her a hug. Oh, Amelia Bedelia, you are just wonderful, said Miss Elma. My headache is all gone. That surprise shower was just what I needed. Then Mrs. Ralph laughed. <laughs> Amelia Bedelia, she asked, did you prune the hedge? Cousin Alculo did that, said Amelia Bedelia. Then he is wonderful, too, said Mrs. Ralph. See how happy my children are? They have never, ever been this good. Look at them. Oh, my goodness, they got Mr. Rogers down. Um, nope, Mr. Alculo down there. And they got him all wrapped up in the hose. Oh, they're just having a blast. And suddenly, everybody was laughing. Everybody was happy. Nobody was angry anymore. Oh, they're just all so happy. Everybody was happy. Mrs. Rogers began to pour the tea. Amelia Bedelia served the chocolate cupcakes, not iced fish. And the lady said,